What is a spray tower scrubber? Let's start with the basics. A spray tower scrubber is a type of wet scrubber that's specifically designed to remove pollutants from industrial gases. It's widely used in industries like chemical processing, steel manufacturing, and even food processing. Spray tower scrubbers use liquid, usually water or a chemical solution, to absorb contaminants from the gas stream. The gases enter the scrubber and are exposed to a fine mist of liquid which captures the pollutants before the cleaned gas exits the system. One of the biggest advantages of spray tower scrubbers is their ability to handle large volumes of gas, making them suitable for high-capacity operations. Design of a spray tower Scrubber The design of a spray tower scrubber is relatively simple, which is part of what makes it so effective. It consists of a vertical column or tower through which the contaminated gas is passed upward. As the gas moves through the tower, nozzles at various points spray a fine mist of liquid downward. The contaminants in the gas interact with the droplets, causing them to be captured and fall to the bottom of the tower. At the bottom, the collected liquid, now mixed with the captured pollutants, is usually collected in a sump for further processing or disposal. The cleaned gas exits the tower from the top. The simplicity of this design makes spray tower scrubbers relatively easy to maintain and operate, especially in environments where space is limited or in need of a high-volume gas treatment solution. How do spray tower scrubbers work? The operation of a spray tower scrubber is straightforward. Here's how it works. Gas enters the tower. Polluted gas enters the bottom of the tower and starts moving upward through the system. Liquid is sprayed. At the top and through various levels of the tower, nozzles spray a fine mist of liquid. This creates an environment where the gas is thoroughly mixed with the scrubbing liquid. Pollutants are captured. The droplets of liquid absorb the contaminants from the gas stream. Particles, gases, or vapors can all be trapped in the liquid depending on the pollutants you're dealing with. Gas exits clean. After the scrubbing process, the now clean gas exits from the top of the tower. The liquid, now mixed with pollutants, collects at the bottom. The effectiveness of the scrubber depends on several factors, including the type of scrubbing liquid, the droplet size, the gas velocity, and the nature of the pollutants. Common models of spray tower scrubbers. There are a few different types of spray tower scrubbers, each designed for specific industrial needs. Let's go over some of the most common models. Countercurrent spray tower scrubbers. In this model, the gas flows upward through the tower while the scrubbing liquid is sprayed downward. This counterflow design maximizes contact between the gas and liquid, making it highly effective for removing particulate matter and gases. These scrubbers are often used in applications with high gas flow rates and moderate to high pollutant concentrations. Co-current spray tower scrubbers. In a co-current design, both the gas and the scrubbing liquid move in the same direction, usually from the top to the bottom of the tower. While this model is less efficient than the countercurrent version, it's ideal for handling gases that are sensitive to pressure drops or require lower liquid to gas ratios. Cross flow scrubbers. Here, the gas flows horizontally while the liquid is sprayed vertically. This model is often used when space is limited or when the scrubber is part of a larger, more complex air pollution control system. It's efficient and flexible, making it suitable for a wide range of industrial applications. Advantages of spray tower scrubbers One of the key advantages of spray tower scrubbers is their simplicity. They don't have many moving parts, which means they're less likely to break down and require less maintenance. That said, their efficiency can be influenced by various factors like gas velocity, droplet size, and the chemical makeup of the pollutants. They're also highly adaptable. You can adjust the number of spray nozzles, the type of scrubbing liquid, and even the operating pressure to fine-tune the system to your specific needs. Spray tower scrubbers are versatile and can be used to control both particulate matter and gaseous pollutants, 
making them ideal for industries dealing with complex emissions. Calculating spray tower scrubber performance. Now, let's talk numbers. How do you know if a spray tower scrubber is right for your operation? It comes down to calculation. Gas flow rate. First, you'll need to know the volume of gas that needs to be treated. The size of your spray tower scrubber should be based on the cubic feet per minute, CFM, or cubic meters per hour, M3H, of gas entering the system. Liquid to gas ratio. This ratio helps you determine how much scrubbing liquid you'll need. For most applications, the liquid to gas ratio is typically between 5 to 10 gallons per 1,000 cubic feet of gas. This can vary based on the pollutants you're trying to remove. Pressure drop. The pressure drop across the scrubber should also be considered. Lower pressure drops result in less energy consumption, but they may also reduce the scrubber's effectiveness. You'll want to calculate the optimal pressure drop for your operation. Removal efficiency. The removal efficiency of a spray tower scrubber depends on the type of pollutants you're dealing with and the design of the scrubber. Generally, spray tower scrubbers can achieve particulate removal efficiencies of 90% or higher, but this depends on the droplet size and contact time. Droplet size and velocity. Smaller droplets increase the surface area for contact between the gas and liquid, improving removal efficiency. However, smaller droplets can also increase the pressure drop. Balancing droplet size and gas velocity is key to maximizing performance without wasting energy. When to use spray tower scrubbers. So, when should you consider using a spray tower scrubber? Here are a few scenarios where they excel. High gas volumes. If your operation generates large amounts of gas that need to be cleaned, spray tower scrubbers are one of the best options. Particulate and gas control. They're ideal for handling both solid particles and gases simultaneously, which makes them great for industries like chemical processing, waste incineration, and food production. Adaptability. If you need a system that can be adjusted for different types of pollutants, spray tower scrubbers are versatile and can be customized to meet various needs. Spray tower scrubbers are an essential tool for industries that need reliable, high-capacity air pollution control. Whether you're dealing with particulate matter, gases, or both, these scrubbers can be customized to handle it all. From their simple design to their adaptability, spray tower scrubbers provide an efficient and cost-effective solution. If you're looking for a scrubber for your operation, reach out to Torchair and we'll help you find the perfect model for your needs. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.